Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. Now I'm on today to work with some of the awesome product that I got from Craftspire. So as you know, I did an unboxing the other day because they sent me some goodies to play with and then I bought a whole lot extra as well. So I want to have a go today. Now I've never done this before, so you'll have to bear with me. I haven't even lit a match for that long, it's not funny. So I'm just lighting this little tea light candle. And I'm just going to whack that under my little furnace. Now the furnace is one of the extra products that I bought myself because I didn't have one already. So what I'm going to do is place my spoon. Now the spoon came in uh, the kit with the furnace. So I'm just going to put that on top. Now the only thing I've noticed about the little spoon is <laughs> it's right-handed. I never think of these things as being a problem until I go to do something and then I realise I'm left-handed and it's hard. I can't sort of tip it that way. It doesn't have the little <laughs> bit there, little spout. So I probably have to tip it like that or I'll get some pliers to it maybe one day and try and make myself a little lip. So <laughs> yeah, anyway. So I'll put my little right-handed spoon up there just to start letting it warm up. And I'm just using this. These are the clear beads that I've got, but I'm just using that just to rest the little handle on so it sits more evenly. So what I want to do is I already had these um, pink wax beads. So I'm going to put four of them in. Now I don't know if that's going to be enough, but the, um, the wax seal that I'm using for this is quite big. So I'll start with four, and if that doesn't look like enough, then I'll try five. So it's gonna take a little while for my wax to melt. While that's happening, I'll show you. I've got my castle. Just see if you can see how well you can see that. There, that you can see that pretty good up there. So it's a little castle wax seal which I think is really cool. And I've got some ideas to use that. So I thought we'll melt some of the pink wax because I think that'll look really nice with this stamp. So I will give it a stir. I've just got some skewers here to be able to mix it around with. Oh, it's starting to melt. Now also, while we're waiting, this is a marble cutting board that I have. Um, you can get marble mats from um, Craft Spire to do your wax seals on. I assume you use the marble mats because they're nice and cool so the wax would um, set quite quickly on them. Now, I didn't end up getting one because I wanted to spend my money on all this other fun stuff. <laughs> but I remembered that I had this cutting board so I'm going to try using this. Now, it does have a few nicks and that in it so they'll probably make an impression on the underside, but we'll see how it goes anyway. I thought this would be nice and safe for my furnace to sit on as well. A bit of fun. <laughs> I remember as a kid playing with matches and wax and all that. <laughs> so, yeah, now it's going nicely. Now, I also did grab myself a damp cloth just to wipe things off if need be. All right, so that's nearly ready. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I'll pour this onto my marble. Now I can see oh, it's coming out the ends a bit. I'm thinking it's not quite enough. So I'll leave it, let it set, and I'll just see what it's like. We might have to do five for this big one. It should be right. Oh, that's beautiful. Didn't quite work, so I think five will be the go for that. But otherwise, it's beautiful. Now, oh yeah, it's coming off all right. Bit of an imprint on there, but we're not going to see that once it's stuck down. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, so what we can do is break that up and put it back in. I've seen people cut it, which might be easier, but I'll just put that back in, put an extra one in, get it in there. Oh, put an extra one in. in there. It's 
just making sure that big wax bead is melted. That's looking pretty good. All right, so we'll try this again. side of my little spoon off. And it's a bit better this one. Still could do with another one. Maybe it will take six. Let's have a look. Coming off nicely, though. I just love that. I mean, to me, I'd use that. That looks cool. But I see everyone else doing them perfectly with this round edge. So we'll try. We'll try for one of these. And finally, <laughs> took me long enough to get one that I'm actually really happy with. So it is just experimenting to get just the right amount of wax um, to remember to hold your seal into the melted wax. I was letting it go too early and it was making it slip to the side. Hence why sometimes I'd get a big lot over one side and then not enough coming out the other side. So you want to hold a little bit till it firms up just a tad. Just to get that nice ring around the edge. And yeah, the tapping it seems to help with the air bubbles. So I've got a lot of duds to cut up and redo. <laughs> okay, so I've got some of my beads in melting. And I've also got a bit of one of my duds. And I found some iridescent pink and purple and aqua little beads or sequins, I should say. So I want to see how I go putting these on top of our seal. So this is going to take some doing. So what I might do is contemplate. I might put them in my hand ready because I'm going to have to be quick with this. Get our seal at the ready. Now I'm going to tip my wax out. I've found if you go around in circles, you can pop some of the bubbles that are forming with the wax that you're pouring out. Now I want to sprinkle some of the sequins on. I don't like having them on the edge like that though, but oh well. And then get my seal. See, the one that fell on the edge is stopping the wax from coming out evenly around there, which is a bit of a shame. It's the only problem I seem to be having, other than you've got to be quick or else the wax sets a bit before you get the sequins on and get the seal on. So it's a bit, bit misshapen, but we'll see how it turns out. Oh, that looks really sweet, actually. The placement of the sequins could be a bit better, but I still really like that. And if I color over the top, it might be good. It'd be nice to have more out around here. So I'll give you a bit of a closer look. So it blings it up nicely. 
So it's not too bad, but as I said, over this side, the sequin sort of stopped it pulling out like it should, which was a shame. So after a lot of fussing and practice, <laughs> I do have some wax seals in front of me. So yeah, it just definitely takes a bit of practice when you first start out. And I did figure out that initially when I started melting my wax, um, it was getting too hot and that's why I was getting so many bubbles. But once my candle burnt down a bit more, um, it regulated the temperature a lot better and I wasn't getting bubbling wax as much. So that's just something to think about. So I think in future I should probably let my candle burn for a bit um, before I start trying to melt my wax. So I have three here that are just plain. And they turned out really nicely. This one is beautiful. And then I've got three that have the sequins in. <laughs> now I did have fun with those um, because I would sprinkle some sequins on top and then I'd press it and it wouldn't work out very well. So I'd chop it up, melt it again, sprinkle some sequins on top. So it ended up with a whole pile of sequins in them. But what would happen is as I pressed them, the sequins in them would stop it forming a nice circle on the outside, which I don't mind. Like I really love the look of that one. So that didn't bother me too much. It just took me a few goes to get ones that I liked. And they're a bit thicker than the other ones, but I love the way they look. So there are wax seals. Now I also have been busy with the dies that I bought, the fairy tale die set, which I've just put on some magnet paper to store. And so I cut some of those out and they cut really, really well. Um, the first lot I ran through my big shot, I used two lots of cardstock. That's what I usually do. And it cut out the first one really well. Um, and the second one, not so much, but I do find that happens with the more intricate dies. I still like using the two though, because I did run one sheet through and um, it didn't seem to cut as well as it did when I had the two. So there's... That a beautiful coach. So I've got two of those in the purple and the pink. So beautiful. And there's the princess on the balcony. Now the only thing with this one is it doesn't cut down this side. You can see a mark there. So I'm not sure whether it's meant to be like that so you can sort of fold it up and leave the cut bit on as well. I'm not sure, so I've been cutting that myself to the size that I want. But otherwise it's cut brilliantly and I love it, it's beautiful. And then there's another one of those. So I have been using those in a project that I wanna use my wax seals on. But first I have my two pens that came with my wax sticks that I showed in my unboxing. And so it's a gold and a silver gel pen these are. And they're glitter ones as well, I'm pretty sure. Well, they're nice and glossy. So I might try colouring in one of my wax seals with that, I think. I might try colouring in this one. Oh, yeah. It'll take a bit of work, but it's starting to come out a lot more now. And it's very nice and bright and glossy. That's awesome for this castle stamp. You could do different colours on this as well and it would look quite nice. Okay, so I think I'll let that dry for a bit. And I might have a look at what else I've got and colour in a few of the others. Okay, so time to put some projects together with our wax seals. So what I have done is the other day I was taking apart a whole lot of encyclopedias, children's encyclopedias from the 1970s. I had some beautiful fairy tale pictures in them that I didn't want to throw out. So I've used some of those to create some journaling cards and some tags for future journals. And I have used some of the die cuts there's the castle die cut there. I've just um, 
cut it down so we've just got a part of the castle there you don't have to use them whole you can cut them down and just use the bits and pieces that work for you so i have backed my book picture onto some a colored cardstock and i've added that little bit of dye i did ink around the papers and the dye just so that they um fit together nicely and so I'm going to put that on this envelope. It's just a pink little envelope that I have spare here. And that's going to sit on there. But I also want some, I rated my fabric and I found these little pretty bits of fabric. This one's got this shiny bling on it. So we will stick our picture down first. So I had a lot of fun um, finding some bits and pieces to go with all of my wax seals. Of course, um, you know, in, in the past they've been used to seal your letters, but you can use them just to decorate all sorts of things. And then for my fabrics, I'm going to use matte medium um, because they're so sheer. This hopefully won't show through much, but we'll still hold them down. So I've got just got a paintbrush to put it on with. Chop these ends off. So we'll let that dry and then we want to do something on the back. So I have another little piece here, another bit of my beautiful material. So I want to use that. Now I might actually cut this bit off. I'm gonna stick that on this side and then I've got one of my wax seals that has the sequins in. I'm thinking about putting that on there like that. I think that'll be nice. So it's just a decorated envelope and I will use that in a journal and I'll show you how I would intend on using it when I do. So for this I might just fold some paper. I've still still a bit wet on that side but it should be all right feels like it's sticking good the last thing we want to do is actually close our envelope though and then we want to stick our wax seal on for that i'll use my helmars glue because i know it will stick really well you can if you've still got your wax burner going use a bit of melted wax and pour that on there and then stick it down with a bit of melted wax but i don't have it going at the moment so we'll just use our helmars glue it should hold it nicely Let that all dry. It's very pretty. You can even add some bling, um, which I might in the future as well. So my idea with this is I'll find a piece of paper. If I've got a journal page like this, I could sit it over like that. So that would flip open. You could still use that side. Got a beautiful picture there. And then when you turn the page, you've got this, which is really nice and decorative. Or I can just slip it into a pocket in my journal as is. So 
love the way that looks it's beautiful so i'll put that to the side to dry further and we'll get on with the next project then we have this one <clears throat> now i just want to see which card i want to put this wax seal on i think it goes nicely on one of these because there's yellow roofs so it goes quite nicely on that one i would be putting it there now the gel pen I used is still a bit wet, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, and make sure it actually does dry, <laughs> because I keep getting it all over my fingers. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So I have to be careful with that. I'm kind of liking on that one more. So again, I've got some nice material here that's got some sparkle pieces in it. So we'll stick that down. Then we can put our wax seal on. Now, with all the journaling cards and tags, I've actually backed them with some. Um, it's from an exercise book that I have here. So I've just used that to back them. I'll trim that little bit off too, I think. Just down here a tad. I also used a punch to do decorative corners, which made a big difference in the way that it looks. So we'll put our wax seal on. Try not to touch the <laughs> gel pen, but I keep putting my finger straight in it. That's all right, I can go over it again if need be, if I wipe too much of it off. So again, I'll just glue it on with the helmers. Get our castle straight. that one done beautiful now I'll put that to side to dry as well so for this one I want to do another little just a little cluster of some fabric down the bottom I'm letting it overhang just a little bit because I like the way that looks. Now I'm not sure if the chill's going to stick very well here. Just put a bit of a better coat on. But once we, I think what we'll do is stick our um, wax seal on and that'll hold it down with the Helmars glue. Now for this one I've got, I could use another one with sparkles. Or we could just go a plain one. Now that I've got sparkles and coloured ones, I, the plain's a bit plain. So we could use that one. I might use this one because it's not quite as bulky. So again, I'll put that to the side to dry. Now, the last one I've got is this tag. Beautiful castle on it again. Thinking of putting the chill up the top here. And then I've coloured this wax seal in with a metallic purple um, texture. I did use one of my own gel pens, which was a purple glittery one, which did work, but nowhere near as good a coverage as the ones that I got from Craftspire. They're definitely nice and juicy, these ones. So I decided to change and use uh, the metallic texture and that worked really, really nicely. So I wanna put that up at the top here, but I think I will put the chill down first. Now it's all like secondhand materials that I have lying around that I've been cutting up for this. Um, those who watch me know that I do like recycling a fair bit. I like mixing old and new stuff together. And I like using bits of junk 
again because this is the tool it might not hold too well with the matte medium but we'll get it tapped down a bit at least and then when we stick our wax seal over the top that'll hold it a lot better might just stops my fingers sticking to it because the matte medium's wettish it um, does take a while to get tacky so I might go and rinse my brush out well that dries a bit and then we'll come back and finish that one off okay so I found some eyelash trim it's a really pale pink here and I'd like to use some of that behind my wax seal on this tag so I'm just figuring out about how long I want it run a bead of glue around that we can stick our eyelash trim to that should be all right it's long enough that we'll have bits sticking out everywhere so then we'll stick this down on top around the place it's just about even I think even um, this pen's coming off a little bit so I reckon I have to let it dry overnight or maybe spray seal it or something might help as well beautiful topper for our little tag there so I think that one is done now I have found some rickrack that I want to add to this one and this one I think with this one I think the um, color from the fabric piece has actually gone onto the card there so I just want a bit of rickrack because I think it will take your eye away from that a bit more So I have some purple rickrack here for that. Now I can either put it down the bottom or I can have it about like that, which I think probably looks better. So I'll just chop that off. And I think I'll get a band of glue onto that if I am able. And I'd say that one is done. It's pretty. And then I've got a thinner rick rack, which I think might look good at the base of this one. So we can either have it, I'm thinking of putting it like that.
nice little bit straight. That's cute. All right, so I think that is our project done with our Princess Castle wax seals. So I have a huge journaling card, which is beautiful. I was thinking too, if I want to in the future, I could use one of my little um, carriages would fit nicely on the back there like that as well. Just for a bit extra and there'd still be writing space. So it's lovely. So yeah, the gel pen's real nice and juicy and coloured that in quite nicely. The die cut worked out beautifully. You can see that I cut the top bit off there because initially I was going to put the wax seal up there but then I decided not to and I cut this side down so she fits on nicely. So beautiful. And then we've got this big tag with our sequins in our wax seal. Great way to reuse those old book pages as well. Then we've got our envelope, which I can put into my journal. Beautiful pieces for a fairy tale journal or little golden book journal. And then the one that we've put our eyelash trim on. So that was great fun. So I think I might leave this video there. I was going to do another project for you on this one, but that has taken me long enough just to figure out how to <laughs> make the wax seals and then to put those together. So I think um, my next video will have, yeah, a few different projects um, and I'll make sure I'm pretty prepared for those ones um, so I can show you all the different things I want to do with them. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much to Crestfire for the beautiful products that they gave to me to use. And yeah, I really had fun with those. Don't forget to use your coupon code if you do head on over to purchase some stuff from Crestfire. You get $5 off if you spend $40 or more. And of course, there's the free shipping on orders that are over $50 US. So it's good to take advantage of that. So take care, be good, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.